Let's talk to a parent and gender advocate, Tessie Biobaku, for more on this development. The social media has been a gag following um, the Chris Land sex scandal, and everyone seemed to have become a, a life coach of some sort, um, throwing in their weight on what should have been done better in this regard. You agree, however, that parenting seems to be more challenging now than it was before, right? That's true. Yeah, parenting is, um, thanks for having me on board. Um, good evening. Um, parenting, yes, is quite difficult right now. It's, it's not easy, um, actually, because um, children are exposed. Uh, the social media especially goes a long way. But you see, um, we need to take this, um, we need to look at where this is really, where we could deal with this issue. Um, like they say, charity begins at home. Socialization begins at home. Um, when you look at socialization, you look at um, that of the home front, the peer group, you're looking at the culture, you're looking at um, in terms of even the societal um, pressure, um, in terms of even economical pressure that um, a lot of parents are going through. You know, at the earlier stage, you talked about a lot of people have become one motivational speaker or the other because of this, because everybody is pained. Um, you know, it's something that um, uh, you wouldn't expect, you know, in any way to be happening. It's ki it kind of is disheartening. As a parent, I, you know, I feel, you know, I, I can't imagine what... Um, the boy child, the girl child, the parent of this girl is going through. And of course, it's, it's quite saddening that um, such an act, again, will be shared by people. You know, there's so much mockery, there's so much um, judgmental, you know, um, thing going on with regards to this issue. There's been a lot of vices in the in the in the in the society, but um, having to have this escalate into this kind of um, act is is kind of disheartening. It's really, really, really sad. How would you ask parents to deal with the exposure of their children to uh, tools like social media, for instance? Um, uh, there's an allegation out there that the the you know young girl involved has a TikTok account and you know developments like that. Social media really is not altogether bad, as it were. It's not. But, but it's not. how how do you think that parents can begin to handle this better? You see, um, in we have this mentality that comes with okay, um, we've gone through this when we were growing up. We went through the hard time. We don't want our children you know, to go through that, um, you know, to go through that route, you know, the hard way, the only way. So right now it's more like um, we are overindulging our children. We must um, I mean, strike the balance. I mean, um, we can't have our children. I, I don't know, but no matter how the society has evolved, uh, you don't, I don't see why we should have children having phones where they are, exposed to um, um, certain things that um, probably they, they, they are not even so well aware of. You know, they are not, they don't have enough awareness with regards to it. Um, uh, but, you know, the thing is, um, when we look at the home, I'll still take this back to the home. You, who are the people we expose our children to? You know, we are caught up with a society where we have a lot of economic pressure on parents. Um, you see parents where they will go out early in the morning. You know, for her to be in that kind of school, you can imagine the kind of financial um, um, burden, or I wouldn't say it's a burden, the financial thing that will come with, um, with regards to what the parents have to, you know, pay in terms of school fees and all that. So you see that economic financial pressure on parents where parents are not really there that much to look out for the children, um, see what is going on with them. Parenting goes beyond we paying the school fees. It's about being there to look out for our children, look out for um, changes in them, because definitely there will, be, there will have been some changes and all that. I mean, I don't want to believe as a mother or as a parent that I'll have my child on TikTok 
on um, Instagram and, you know, having to show all those things. I, I mean, I'm sure that if that exposure is given to, if the parents were very conscious of it, I'm sure they would have been able to caution that child. Actually, you know, when the mother was interviewed, she said when they said, oh, it was about, it was just that the daughter kissed somebody and she said she was going to make sure she cautioned the child. So I can imagine if she was really exposed to a lot of things that um, that child has been exposed to. So that still boils down to what are we leaving our children with? Who do they see as mentors outside us? Absolutely. A lot of molestation that mm. happens with the boy child, with the girl child, basically even comes from people that you least expect, family members, drivers, mates. And, and you're all saying that. that the society must um, turn the touch back to itself and identify uh, what is yes, wrong with the Yes, there's a lot structure. of, we must have those uh, reorientation. Absolutely. There are certain things that, because every act that we, behavior act, is learned and it could be unlearned. It's a good you place know, to live. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your contribution, gender advocate, Will Bako, who joins us live on TV City News at 10.